Happy New Year and today our first tutorial video is gonna be about Flutterflow and Superbase. At the same time we're gonna connect with Firebase so we're gonna use three tools uh, which are Firebase, Flutterflow and Superbase. Why is it so? Because uh, if we go right now to Superbase, um, I, I'm sure we have tried it already but uh, let's create a project okay uh, so you have tried uh, superbase right and you tried to do authorization uh, analytics and everything else like what firebase gives you so far uh, but superbase cannot give you so we have created a project right now and other things what we have to do is go to settings of flutter flow project go to superbase and turn it on so we need api url and anon key anonymous key this is anon key here we have and here we have api url so yes this is the url that we can use and we get schema of course uh please check your connection okay so i think that's it but we have to find the project URL. So this is the one. I'm not sure why it's not. Ah, cool, it's working. So if we create uh, a database, so uh, nah, table editor, that's what we need, right? Create a new table. So, for example, it's going to be post table. Uh, we don't need description. Enable role level security if you need it. Enable real time broadcasting. Sure. So, cr we have an ID number of uh, post, which is good because it's going to create uh, automatically ID number of the post. And we can create title of the post. So, and here we see a lot of different uh, data types that you didn't face before in Firebase. Uh, it's because here we are using uh, Postgres SQL, which is much better than Firebase. And mm, if you go through everything, that's not a big deal here. Uh, what we need at this uh, situation, we need text. Right, because text gun is using like not a lot of characters. Like you cannot use text if you're giving a description of the post. But for example, for the description, we should use uh, varchar this one. So in this situation, set as uh, empty string, set as null, keep it null, and this one we say it's a primary key or doesn't matter it's not like big deal as long as we have an id as a primary so and we save it <coughs> so while it's saving uh we try to get schema here who knows maybe it's gonna work nope not working so we are waiting until it's gonna create uh fail to create pg connection terminate due to connection timeout okay what's the problem let's try one more time Yep, it's setting now. Cool, so here we can get schema. Yep, here it is. So what's, the, what's our next step? Next step is to get some pods. Uh, so we're gonna choose the ready-made UIs. Okay, and for the column, go to backend query and do the superbase query uh, backend query for superbase we choose the table post table so we got a list of rows here uh, as always we can set the limit how many uh, posts gonna be seen and then also we can add a filter we can add the ordering uh, by ID, by create time, and so on. Uh, same as Firebase. Alright, so we're gonna do it that one and just click on confirm. Done. Alright, so 
after that of course uh, we didn't set the image here so we can come here click on add image data type is gonna be uh, as you can see we don't have anything like similar in firebase so we just choose text or varchar in this situation like i'm gonna ch choose text define as array uh, we don't need array at the moment and save it so now we got the uh, image so we go back here go to superbase yep and let's get schema one more time so it's going to be updated here we got image we go back and we check if, if it's going to work so post table here we got image done easy uh, here we're gonna set title and description all right okay so we want to connect with firebase right so we need to open a firebase go to console <coughs> uh, for example we choose that project here copy copy it mm -hmm. yep and then we go to firebase we okay ah sorry yep and project we copy the project name id connect okay yep uh right so we can't do this one this project so we uh, we need to find the project that we can use okay let's try that one yep cool this one is working generate files Okay, so uh, what we do right now? Now we go to authentication, enable authentication, enter page, home page. Uh, we need to create a login page. So we create one more page. It's gonna be login page. Uh, choose the authorization template. Let's choose this one. So enter page logged in and logged in page home page. Cool. So Firebase is connected. Uh, push notifications. We don't need them right now. Superbase. Okay. So uh, what we have here, uh, the user he can create posts, right? And how do we connect our users with? Superbase. First of all, we create users, right? Uh, yes. And each user he has UID number. So in Superbase in post table, we need to create created by. This one is gonna be our uh, text field and we save it so we have a created by right and from here for example we create one more page uh, create post page uh, we go to content mm, let's choose something like mm -hmm. Okay, let's choose this one okay so for the create post we we click add action uh, super base insert row post table and let's set fields id number we can delete it's going to be create so on its own create a time 
we take from variable global properties current time for the title we choose from variable uh, okay let's create it here Client field color oops up a field border color error color zero point five and twelve done. This is gonna be our title. title we choose we dictate enter title for the description we choose we state enter post details and for the image from variable mm, okay uh, that one right so let's see if we got user image. Uh -huh. So on click here, what do we have? We need to have upload media photo. <coughs> uh -huh. Done. And for user, and okay, this is good. For the network, we choose. Mm -hmm. Okay, so image why we don't have an action here. Uh -huh, upload type super base from variable play speaker. What's bucket name? Set the storage bucket name. Mm -hmm. Image. Let's have an image here. Okay, upload folder pass. Mm -hmm. <coughs> uh, that one, I guess we will have to create uh, storage here. Create. Uh, here's a create new bucket. Let it be public bucket. New bucket created all right uh, create folder images mm -hmm. and let's update it okay so bucket name it's new bucket and upload folder path gonna be okay uh, where do I get folder I guess this is images so we just copy and paste uh, the whole link I'm not sure if it's gonna work but let's see I didn't even do that part yet that's, that's, that's fine so and for the image we can easily now set uploaded file and then we have id created uh -huh. so description is chosen uh, image widget state uploaded file created by okay in created by <coughs> what we do we take from variable authenticated user and user ID number, right? So now we can easily filter all the posts with users, and that one we can single condition 
I'm gonna explain what's happening here. Uh, global properties. Mm -hmm. <coughs> uh, what do we need here? Uploaded file URL uh, is not set. Confirm. Okay, so this image gonna be hidden uh, until we upload a file that's what we did uh, tag location is not mandatory right so uh, we did that one if we have any navigation we can delete this one we don't need any errors uh, okay we can equalize oops sorry mm, and the last Once. Mm -hmm. Cool. Mm -hmm. So we deploy that one. Okay. Right. So, uh, and we have a home page. So now this home page, I want to see only my posts, right? So we go to filter, uh, edit backend query filters we take created by is equal to authenticated user user id and confirm done this is how we connect firebase and superbase together and the rest is like the same if you want to use sign in methods and you want to use some like analytics or anything else that we have here uh, dynamic links messaging and so on